you said you did this survey with 350 women cricketers i'm guessing they belong to all tiers that you're mentioning from grassroots to elite cricketers what is the one biggest issue that came to light was it the financial independence and the career option uh, of cricket which equal pay kind of looks at or was it something else access to facilities and good training what is the yeah. number one issue in women's cricket 55% of them actually faced financial difficulties so it was a choice between whether continuing the sport yes. or not playing mm. the sport the second part of it was barriers to entry because after when you're very good in your sport then you have to start playing with the guys because there are not probably equal competitors and then you can't make a full team and then you lose out then you step out you pick up another sport we've had a lot of uh, uh, olympians and paralympians who started off with cricket but then eventually they realized that you know what i didn't get a chance i didn't get an opportunity so i moved my sport but because they are athletically so gifted and talented they did well in another sport but we've probably mm-hmm. lost a lot of talent along the way yeah. just as an ecosystem because of entries to barrier oh, and entries could be even as simple as there are no toilets in the you know in the place where they train yeah. uh, there's no lighting in the evening if i'm training and traveling back home safety issues psychological safety issues um, you know parents worried about girls getting dark who is going to get get married to them i think there are so many layers of uh, gender uh, related issues that that women sport faces so i think whether you look at a pv sindhu you look at Meer, you look at amira bai chanu or deepa karmakar they are all phenomenal because despite these challenges they've come along and shown that it's possible and that is why mm. they're all true uh, champions across these sports and they've inspired the next generation so even if you look at our current women cricket team they they're mm. inspirational each one of them are bringing out their own personalities each one of them are showing uh, you know where they come from their roots and if you look at the demographics of the current team they come from very very small towns yeah. so they have faced yeah. similar challenges so they've got something right and that pathway has got created but how do we replicate it so yeah. three levels for me grassroots barriers grassroots and elite performance absolutely no you know one of the other things is that a lot of them you mentioned pv sindhu you mentioned Pira, uh, mira bai chanu you mentioned deepa karmakar i know that for all of these girls their family support was absolutely absolutely crucial i mean for pv sindhu her, her parents are uh, you know uh, athletes themselves and that plays such a huge role when parents give that much importance to a girl playing a sport and believe in that and i think the fact that women are earning as much at least let's say the national team will earn as much as uh, the men will go to change that uh, family you know uh, point of view as well of whether you should pursue the support or not